Hello, I'm Mark, one of Altium's industry experts. We're going to go through the process of laying out your first PCB in this rapid Altium tutorial. This tutorial expects you to have a completed schematic and be ready to start routing. Check the description for a rapid tutorial on getting the first project and schematic started in Altium Designer. First, add a PCB to the project by right-clicking on the project. Then, add new to project, PCB. The first thing I do is set the PCB to metric through the Properties panel on the right. Under the other category, Units, click Millimeters. Save the PCB to add it to your project folder so it is ready to receive components. Switch back to the schematic sheet. Then go to Design, Update PCB Document to show the engineering change order window. For a simple project like this, you can turn off the addition of a room. Click Execute Changes to transfer your components to the PCB. Click Close once it is completed. Your components are now on the right side of the board. The pins with the green X markers are showing a design rule violation. We need to set basic design rules. Click Design Rules to open the Rules Constraints Editor. Under Electrical, Clearance, there is a rule called Clearance. Set the minimum clearance to 0.15 millimeters. This is something most board fabricators will be happy with. Next, go to Routing, Width, and click on the Width rule. Set the minimum width to 0.15 millimeters, preferred width to 0.3 millimeters, and maximum width to 2 millimeters. Click OK to return to the board. You can see the violations are now resolved. For easy layout, turn on Cross Select Mode. Go to Tools, Cross Select Mode. This will mirror your selection of components between the schematic and PCB. Switch back to the schematic and select the first components you'd like to group together. Now switch back to the PCB. You'll find those same components selected. Drag them away from the other components so they're easy to find later. Switching back to the schematic, do the same for the other components. If you select from right to left, anything the selection box touches will be selected. If you select from left to right, only items contained by the selection box will be selected. Shift click on a component to add it to the selection. The current grid is displayed in the bottom left corner. Change it by pressing G on your keyboard to select from one of the preset sizes. Press Ctrl G to open the grid editor for more options. Start arranging the charger on a coarse grid setting just to get an idea of how everything will sit. Pressing spacebar rotates components just like in the schematic editor. The fine lines from pads jump to the nearest pad of the same net when they are unrouted. We will cover routing in the next tutorial. To have more usable net names shown on the pads, go back to your schematic and name the nets. Go to Place, Net Label. Press Tab to jump to the Properties panel. Give the net a name, press Enter, or click on the Pause button on the schematic editor. Then place the label on the net. Once you've made changes to the schematic, update your PCB by going to Design, Update PCB Document. You will then see all the name changes. Deselect the Add Room as before, then execute changes. Arranging components is now easier as the net names are human readable. To change the default position of designators, click on a designator and then look in the Properties panel. Change the Auto Position property to a better option. You can also manually drag the designator anywhere you like. You can select all designators at once using the powerful PCB filter functionality. In the PCB filter panel on the left of your screen, type in is designator, all one word. Make sure you set matching to select, then click apply to all to select the designators. On the properties panel, change the font to true type so you can use any font you like. Adjust the text height property to something reasonable. Control click the board to clear the mask. Once you've finished arranging components, you can draw a board outline around them. I like to do this on the keep out layer. Click the arrow at the bottom of the editor to scroll across the layer tab list. Select the keep out layer. Then go to place, line. Shift space will change the corner type of your line. Space will change the direction of the corner. Draw a box around your circuit. To select all connected objects on a layer, select one and then press tab. Set the board shape by going to design, board shape, define from selected objects. If you press three on your keyboard, you will change to a 3D mode and you can see your PCB in 3D. Use shift and right click to move the camera position or a 3D mouse as I am. To change a board color to something that looks a bit better, use the toolbar at the top. If the toolbar is not showing, right click anywhere in the top area of Altium and turn on PCB standard. Pressing zero on your keyboard will jump to a top down view. Pressing nine will show a 90 degree rotated top down view. Press eight for something kind of similar to isometric view. Press two to get back to the 2D mode. The board origin should be in the bottom left corner of the board. To place it there, go to Edit Origin Set. Click in the bottom left corner, Origin Marker will then show where you clicked. You now have a completed PCB layout ready to route. See the next video in the series for PCB routing. 
If you need a high quality component library, take a look at the Celestial Altium library. It contains over 120,000 components and is free to use. We also have a great community on Discord. Check the links in the description. If you didn't enjoy the video, make sure you leave a thumbs down. There have been way too many likes recently.